six to start, two no trumps, knight to c3, some of the opening lines of the great games that we've invented over the centuries that we've been playing games. For me, games are a little bit like stories. We sit around the kitchen table and the adventure unfolds. But again, you're an active participant in making that story. I mean, a novel might make you cry, but a game can make you feel guilty about what you did to your opponents. My name's Marcus Tesotoy, and I'm author of Around the World in 80 Games. Our species loves playing games, so much so that some have suggested that we be called Homo ludens, the playing species, rather than Homo sapiens, the thinking species, because of the way that games have been so important in our evolutionary development. Many have suggested reasons why we love playing games. Some have said it's an early form of science, that as soon as we understood the universe was controlled by rules, we started making games with rules at their heart to explore the implications of those rules. Others said it's much more psychological. To play a game, you need a theory of mind. You need to imagine what your opponent might do when you make a certain move. So perhaps when our consciousness started to emerge, we started playing games to explore the mind of the other. Indeed, I've just come back from India, and games are used at the beginning of a marriage at a wedding ceremony to explore what your partner might be like, because a game reveals a lot about who you are. Tell me the game you play, and I'll tell you who you are. I love playing games, and I do a lot of travelling from my work as a mathematician, and wherever I go in the world, I love to find out what it is that they love playing in that particular country. It reveals so much about the culture, the community of where I'm visiting. So over the years, I've been collecting games whenever I travel. Now, it's been a bit of a private passion of mine, um, but I thought that I should share all of my exploration and the games that I've discovered with readers, which prompted me to write this new book. Now, as an author, you often write down uh, notes and cards and try and plan a trajectory through the book. And when I listed all the games that I wanted to talk about, rather magically, there were exactly 80 games. So I had to call the book Around the World in 80 Games. Now, you may wonder, why is a mathematician about to tell me about games and not a historian or an anthropologist or a psychologist? Where's well, my belief that every game has an interesting hidden bit of mathematics hiding behind it, which either helps you play the game or, or make the game. So for me, I suppose the thesis of the book could be that uh, games are a way of playing mathematics. Now, as a mathematician, I can understand a lot of the tricks behind the mathematics. And so um, I got a lot of tips that I've written up in the book for how to play some of the games that people love to play. Um, so from Monopoly to Connect Four, from Ticket to Ride to one of my favourite games, Backgammon, I'm giving away all my tricks for the mathematics that helps you to win at games. So why not join me as I take you around the world in 80 games? The book is Blackwell's Book of the Month. And it's available now in paperback and available at all Blackwell stores.